All right, I thought we'd start the day off with a run today. Just kind of have a nice jog, keep up the fitness kind of feeling of getting ready for End War, and well, do a little bit of Pokemon Go, tap some Pokestops, do that kind of stuff. But uh, really, I just want to get back in shape and kind of uh, maintain a good schedule. But before before I take off, just kind of wanted to point out that uh, it seems like the name Nerf Life may be the more popular that I was thinking of, but before I make the decision, I had the thought of, what about everyday Nerf? Uh, so I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments, but I'm going to take off. I am so happy I was finally able to share this with all of you. I've been hiding it off camera for a while now, uh, but I think we can finally put it up on the wall. So. Let's find a spot for it. I think that works. Nice spot right under the Caliburn, like a nice uh, kind of more NIC style secondary to go with the primary. I think I like it. I don't really have a spot for these now, which are modified M6s, but we'll figure that out as we move on in the future. Uh, actually, I need to do a proper review of that blaster, so we need to do things like chronographing and getting some cool shots and things like that, so I'm going to take it back off the wall. Seems a little low to me. Uh, maybe this barrel's too short. Let's go get some more barrel material for this wonderful Fabu cannon. So I remembered that the post office with my P.O. box is uh, near the Home Depot, so I thought we'd stop by really quick, and I've got a package that's, it's, it's, it's bulging. That, I'm, should I be concerned? I don't, I don't know, it's from Amazon, so I'm very curious what's in here, but I think there's a patch in here, so I'm excited about that. We'll, uh, we'll open these when we get home. I want to get home sooner now, because I'm excited to work on the blaster and open those up, because I have no clue what is in that box. <gasps> So thank you to whoever sent that. I'm sure we'll find out who it is when we open it. And just anyone in general who sends anything to the P.O. Box, it's absolutely awesome to open that up and find fun and neat and exciting things. So apparently this Home Depot does not carry CPVC. I couldn't find anything that would fit properly. So um, I guess today we're not upgrading or not making new barrels for the Fabu Cannon. So I'm going to go home and offset my sadness by opening up these packages and seeing what we got. So let's do that. I don't know what this was, but yeah. So we'll, we'll find a solution for, for this another day. But like I said, let's open a couple things because I'm excited again. Thank you. I'm going to start with this one because I, I think it's a patch. I think that's what we're looking at here, but uh, I don't, I don't know. So we gotta, we gotta pop it open to find out. I think it came from overseas. Ah, okay. This is, oh, all right. This is a foam dart thunder patch with a nice FDT sticker and a nice card there with Neil Mc, McClory's information doing great things over there with FDT along with uh, the speedball game that's part of the BTA that we're working on. He's doing stadium events, mall events, all kinds of crazy stuff. FTT is doing crazy awesome things over there in the UK and I love seeing their growth. This patch, let's just, while, while we're here, just right there. Yes, I love, I love adding new patches to the patch board. Thank you so much. Uh, FTT for sending that my way. I am super happy to have it. Now let's see what's in here. I am genuinely curious. It appears it shipped from Amazon. Someone, I guess, got something from Amazon 
and shipped it my way. I thought like they just reused the box, but looking at it, no, it is actually from the site and they packed it, they packed it full. What is? Okay. That's what these are. We got darts. Ray Squad or Raytheon, I believe they changed the name to Ray Squad, has sent me a good number of darts, of Accufakes. Oh my goodness, we got one, two, three, four, five bags of darts. That's, that's a lot of darts. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown them everywhere, but how many we got in here? Let's see, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so what, 300? 300 darts times five, 1,500 darts? That's a good amount of darts. That's gonna be fun. I I know what, uh, actually. Thank you, Ray Squad. I know what we're gonna do. Actually, oh, we have one more thing. Uh, we have one more thing. This came the other day. I realized I was gonna pop this open another time, but we're already here. I, you know, I like opening things when I'm a little bit down because something didn't go my way or the way I was planning it. So let's, uh, let's, you know, let's, let's open some things. And this is something I'm very excited about. This is from NF Strike. I got in contact with them and said I would love to take a look at this new product from Worker. You can, pretty sure y'all know what this is. This is the new, oh, okay, that's very interesting. Uh, right off the bat, the new, 22 dart magazines. Now, first thing I noticed, there's no butt plate here. There's nothing on the bottom that we normally see in the other magazines. We normally see here with this one, this little piece right here. It doesn't come with one. There's the slots for it. I'm pretty sure this should. Is it not gonna fit? It's not gonna fit. You're kidding me, right? No, this is such a, that is so disappointing. That is so disappointing. I, um, this is one of my favorite little things is being able to put those, those like Magpul style quick draw things on the base of these. I mean, granted, I don't know that I would do it on the longer ones, but that's, uh, wow, that's surprising. Anyways, um, Outside of that, the build quality still feels like Worker. It still feels fantastic. Uh, you got a nice Worker logo here on the side, which honestly I could probably do without, but I get it, Worker wants to brand their stuff. I respect that, I'm fine with that. There's like some screw embossing here uh, to emulate like an actual magazine, but there's raised and lowered portions on this that gives it a, a texture that I'm okay with. I'm not feeling like it's the most amazing thing in the world. It's not like, say, the hex pattern on the hex mags that I absolutely love. It's nothing like that, but it's it adds a little bit of a visual kind of change to it because you see the light bouncing off of it in different ways. Um, but it seems... It seems just like any other 22 Dart magazine, which was my, my thought it would be, but the fact they changed this bottom part just... I get it, it saves money, they don't have to add another piece, but uh, that's, that's a bummer. All right, so let's um, shoot some Ray Squad darts out of this worker mag sent to me by NF Strike, and I know just the blaster to do it with. For those of you that have been wondering what this blaster is that's been behind my head for the last couple weeks, this is the Blaster Forge Aurora, and it is beeping at me currently, which we'll figure out why in a little bit. But this is another blaster that, that uh, Thundercronk is loaning to me for review. So we'll, of course, have a full review of this in the future, thanks to Thundercronk. But for now, let's just have some fun with it. This can't keep up. That is the first time I have seen a worker product that doesn't have a follower good enough to keep up with a high rate of fire. 
or this magwell is compressing. Let me grab a different blaster. Hold on. Okay, so I got the, uh, the auto strife kit. Let's drop a 3S in here. And we'll see if this can hold up to... Good. Good, okay. Let's see. Uh, we want to go full auto. Fine. Okay. So I figured it out. Let's go back in. We'll talk about it. Oh, so I thought there's a problem with this, or rather a problem with the Aurora, because it wasn't firing uh, the uh, mag all that well. It wasn't, it didn't seem to be working. So then I grabbed the FTL2. Same problem. Wasn't really feeding quickly enough. So I thought, okay, well maybe the mag just isn't that great, but and then I had a thought that this is two 3D printed magwells. What if I grab a stock magwell and give that a try? And sure enough, uh, that one worked. So let me turn this off really quick. Got it, got it. Okay, uh, so when it comes to the new Worker 22s, be aware that if you're running an FDL2 or a Blaster Forge or anything with a tight magwell, you may encounter feeding issues. That is something I was not expecting and that is why we test things. So, Strife, fantastic. I would guess it would work just as well in a Rapid Strike or any other standard stock Hasbro style magwell. Um, that is something I was not anticipating. I was seriously expecting this to work in anything and everything, but still, a little bit of information for you. Uh, quick test, let me know if you've picked up any of these. Thank you NF Strike again, and thank you Ray Squad for the darts, but now let's take it somewhere else. I think that's gonna do it for today. We're uh, three episodes in now, and I kinda wanna know what you think of this series and where we're at and how it feels on top of the name, whether you think Nerf Life or Everyday Nerf is the way to go, but um, I'm just gonna keep exercising and getting ready for End War, so uh, I'll see you in the next one.